Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts and to the Italian Naval Arms Race Artisan Campaign, where I'm going to kick off with our last battle cruiser, which of course is going to be the Kuntash. Uh, so we can go 32 knots or so, 75,000 tons is huge. Uh, unfortunately, all the towers are ones with the little uh, diamond back, which is really irritating because it just takes up unnecessary room. Uh, secondary towers, I really don't like the backwards front towers, uh, even though they have good stats. This thing is insane, the secondary tower complex. I'm tempted to try and use it, but I think the light secondary tower is... Well, very slightly superior, actually. Which is a slightly more... Do you know what? I use that secondary tower a lot. We don't get any with this. <laughs> it looks totally ridiculous. It's enormous for no reason. Really? Game? Okay, fine. But yeah, this thing has superstructure for days. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, they don't match. Typical. Can I fit two on the back? No. Okay, fine. We're going to have mismatch funnels. Uh, or are we? Well, we'll see how the efficiency goes. Uh, let's try this with a diesel. Yeah, it does work. Oops. Clicked off the window. Um... Yeah, but I do need that second funnel. Irritating. Uh, okay. C cool. <laughs> Main guns, 16 inch. Hmm. Let's go triples for now. Uh, enlarged. Something like that. And then let's go secondary four inch. I can probably get quite a few of these in. And some two inch. Yeah, we can get some uh, two inch guns in. Are you expecting aircraft, sir? <laughs> uh, that is a weird looking ship. It just looks like they threw a whole through a bunch of stuff together. <laughs> Calibers are all fine. Right. Let's go standard for now. Double diesel. Uh, KCNA. Stick with a double bottom hull. We might be able to get a triple bottom as a nice to have. Ooh, upgrade. <laughs> But yeah, the weight adds up so fast when you put these on. Uh, standard ratio of shells, RPC 38. Composition B, super heavy shells. Water loaders, electro hydro turrets, radar, an RDF. And a range finder. Wow, that's also expensive. 4.4 billion, Jesus. And yeah, the armor is garbage. Okay, so we're looking at an armor quality of a hundred and seven. Oh, that's because I'm looking at like okay, so I should look at uh, a more normal shell. There we go. That's still. Uh, hmm. 
yeah, armoring this is going to be against its own guns is basically impossible. Starboard weight offset. Okay, missing one of the secondaries. Yeah. Okay, so let's say we went 16 with a six inch deck. Eighteen on the tower on the turret. Uh, three, two, one point five. Three, two, one point five. 119%. Yeah, I'm going to have to make cuts. Well, I think the most obvious cut is to go uh, twins instead of triples. That saves us a fair bit. The other obvious cut is this ridiculous tower, because it's so big, it's making the citadel massive. So I know it's cool. Ah, oh, that one's not that much shorter, actually, which is kind of worrying. But uh, it'll have to do... Although... Let us go eight gun. See, I really like the look of that. But still, hundred, you know, thirteen percent overweight. We're not going to get too much back for chopping the range back. In fact, almost nothing. Is there a smaller still secondary tower? Yeah, this one. Also means I can't use the. Mm, there's no second funnel if I do that. Uh, if you put one on the deck and one here. See, now we're down to 5%. Okay, what happens if I did go. Uh, let's say got rid of that funnel. Nah, no, diesels are diesels are lighter. Hmm, five percent. See now I'm thinking, get rid of the four inch completely. Just go with two inch. Seeing as we've lost so many of the four inch from that change, I just wish there was a different front tower for this hull. I mean, this one is a lot lighter. Let's try doing that. I'm going to swap you to the modern tower too. It's also smaller. Okay, that is a bonus. Uh, two inch. Wow, we are super minimal on uh, secondaries now. Funnels do look better though. Wow, this is a super minimalistic ship. It's not what I had in mind at all when I started. Uh, see, now that range, we can do it with range. 25,000 is fine. Absolutely fine. And the ship works with the armor. Uh, but yeah, only, only the uh, six guns, which makes it very similar to the one I built in the previous episode that I now forget the name of. Uh Huh, where is it? I'm blind. I can't I can I can never see anything in this list. I actually don't know. The sensor, wasn't it? Anyway, I'll I'll figure that one out in a second. Uh right, I'm gonna save this. And uh, head back to the build screen, I think. 
Hmm. Hi. Uh, welcome back. The Essenza is not in the list. Now, I did have a crash when I was recording uh, the episode in which I designed it, and I think if it, it must have been on the same turn, and it's deleted the design. So I'm just going to go recreate the design off camera <laughs> uh, as best I can. And uh, yeah, that and then I'll get that back under construction. <laughs> okay, that minor issue <laughs> fixed. Um, yeah, the Ascensor is going to be finished before the Kuntesh, so that's fine. But they're, they're, they're very similar ships. Uh, same speed, same armor, same guns, pretty much. Um, so yeah, good. Uh, the next thing to do is to start on the refits. Now... Again, I think I am, in fact, I know I recorded uh, me starting the refit process of one of the ships. Uh, I can't remember which one it is. I'm going to have to check the video. But, um, wait, do I have my rebuilding... Uh, Has it just completely destroyed all of that? Because I rebuilt the Fratensis as well in the last episode. Is that not there? No. <laughs> so I remembered I deleted it, but then didn't remember that I... Okay, so... Fine, I'll go fix that two and then i'm going to end the turn to make sure it saves it this time jesus uh, and i'll see you in the next turn okay we have some action the gatina has found the triumph or tri triumph um some destroyers and a convoy we haven't seen uh soviet surface ships for a while so this is interesting Definitely want to have a look. And then I'm going to get to work refitting all of the 15-inch arm ships. Uh, sorry, the 16-inch arm ships that have never, ever had 15-inch guns. Uh, to try and get the Mark III's. Um, and radar and the improved trip. Uh, all that good stuff. Right, let's have a look at you. What are you bringing... Ooh, interesting. A Q blank barbet <laughs> X Y <laughs> nine point twos. Ah. Churchill's favourite caliber, I think that was. Scored on like a plonker. Sorry about that. Something sank. <laughs> oh, one torpedo away. Oh, oh, oh. lucky. 
<laughs> oh, there's more of them! Still. Thankfully the anti-torp uh, kicked in there. Oh, nice. Secondaries would actually, yeah, there you go, do their job. Ah, we sent the other destroyer, that's very nice. Okay, heavy cruiser. What are you actually packing here? 34 knots, pretty speedy. Armor is... Mm, not the best. Turrets are well armored. Uh, class A, interesting. SPD, Avatar. Heavy shells. Oof. can try and take her out. Oh look, I have stuck turrets. How fun. Sometimes you can unstick them by doing a manoeuvre. One of them is stuck. I can deal with one of them being stuck. Does this thing have torpedoes? No. Interesting. Now I've got to get a target lock. There we go. Fixed. It's hanging a sharp turn. my ships because they're on either side of it are not firing torpedoes. Oh, there we go. Let's see how she deals with those. Uh, doesn't see them and sails right into them. <laughs> ah! I have to say, one of the things I do like about NAR is that, yeah, heavy cruisers and above, they don't get sonar, so very easy to run them into torps. Um, cool. Well, that was a success. Okay, the next job is to refit all of the 15-inch battleships um and battle cruisers apart from the Germania. Um so I'm gonna do that as a as a time lapse, basically. Um I know that some people like to watch it in full, but uh it's mostly just gonna be me clicking. Yeah, I, I might have to rearrange some of the uh some of the some of the armaments to get the 16 inch guns to work, but I'll try my best.
Okay, I decided not to refit the Urako because basically our guns won't fit. Uh, they will fit with the lozenge turrets, but I'm pretty sure when it gets to Mark IV, they change design again. So she's, she's going to not get a refit right now. Uh, once I have the Mark IV guns, I'll be able to work out what I need to refit her to, basically. Um, I might... I don't even know if I did get different towers for it. But she might be one of those ships that... It's a shame, because she's a really cool-looking ship. Uh, might just get retired, unfortunately. Um, anyway, that means that a lot of the fleet is now either refitting or building, uh, etc. But we do have ships still available. Uh, Germania should be ready in about three months. Um, with her rebuild. <laughs> uh, and I'll pop her in for her, an actual refit uh, once she's done. Um, but yeah, it means that our battle fleet is not really available but then again there's not really too much for them to be doing at the moment apart from as i said maybe in trying to invade persia but we're going to need we're going to need all the ships in tip-top condition to be able to do that um at any rate i hope you enjoyed this slightly different episode um a lot of building a lot of uh refit time lapse um not much action but maybe that's your thing and if it is, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.